Welcome back. It is always good vibes in the desert for Emma Raducanu. First on today, comes through in straight sets. 6-2, 6-3 over Rebecca Masarova. You can see that smile there, and we are privileged to have Emma join us on our BMW desk. Made the fourth round last year, back in the second round again this year. Emma, it is great to have you as always. Brilliant performance today. Uh, what are you most proud of? I think I'm most proud of the way that I refocused after some difficult moments in both sets actually having a lead and then losing a break. I think also the way that I dealt with not particularly feeling my serve out there and uh, a lot of double faults more than usual. I didn't let that affect me or bother me and I also think that the way that I was able to neutralize her serve and um, it was funny because there was a great contrast between how big she was hitting her first serve. I saw some like 120s and then and then in the ground strokes, it was very much um, me having to generate a lot of pace or angles off not much given to me. So I think it was just adjusting to that. I had to be super sharp with my footwork. You talked about neutralizing her serve, Emma. You did such a great job of that. You broke six times today. When you're playing your best tennis, I feel like you're really hugging that baseline well. How much does the return when you're doing that well start affecting the other parts of your game positively? Yeah, I think when you make a big server like that play extra ground strokes, I think that's the biggest goal. You you want to try and extend the points as much as possible and not give them you know, what they want, which is serve, ball three, come to the net, finish it off. So I did that really well and I really wanted to dig in. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that and then it kind of gives you a little bit of leeway on your service games um, which maybe today I didn't do as well <laughs> but you know in, in general like that. Yeah. It's been it's been such a delight for all of us to have you back and, and healthy and strong and playing well on the tour. You missed quite a bit of time last year from Q2 on sort of through the end of the year. What did that do for your perspective and sort of what you gained from that time away? Yeah I gained that Starting the year this year, I was extremely hungry and and really raring to go and get out there um, and enjoy my tennis a lot more. I think that the tour is so fast paced that you really need to schedule in these breaks to either rest or to work on your game because if not, I don't think you'll ever work on it and it just you're just constantly chasing the next tournament. So that's not not what I think I need right now. And um, I think I have the luxury to do things a bit more on my time because um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not chasing, not chasing anything anymore. I think that's something that I was doing more. So feeling rushed to get back to a certain level where I was or a certain result what I had. But now I think it's just about like, okay, doing things on my own time. And um, yeah, I think I know good things will happen in the process that I'm working on right now. Let's talk about that process because I mean, some people go through one surgery uh, as we're watching Venus Williams on the screen now up a break 3-1 against now Habino. You went through three surgeries. I don't know if everybody had two, two wrists and an ankle. Yeah. I mean, w what was that whole process like for you? Yeah, I had three surgeries within 10 days, which is pretty intense. I mean, for for two, three weeks, you can't do anything because you're not allowed to sweat. You're not allowed. You can't move. Like I had a scooter. I couldn't even wear, use crutches because of my wrist surgery. So it was really difficult. And uh, I was kind of like swapping, you know, two weeks right was in a in a cast and then take that off. Right is in a splint. Left goes in a cast and then left goes in a splint. So, I mean, it, it was real rejigging and then it wasn't necessarily smooth cut coming back I had a few setbacks so um, I started training like pretty much in December again um, and that's not much time to kind of get ready Australia was in a bit of doubt as well so to make it there and uh, to be feeling healthy on the court now I think is the biggest win like that's the I know that good things good results whatever will come as long as I can stay healthy and just doing the work that I am right now like consistently day in day out. Are you getting a chance to sort of, now that you're back on the road, you're not at home recovering most of the time, sort of take in the cultures a bit? I know you were in, in the Middle East recently and you said mm. some pretty epic life experiences and learning lessons in, in Abu Dhabi. Anything, anything special you picked up there? Yeah, I mean, like tennis-wise, it wasn't necessarily the best, but I think I had a great time off the court. And uh, I really got to explore Abu Dhabi especially. Um, I think... 
it's important you know when you're on the road on the tour if you don't do these things it makes it makes it seem kind of like a drag or like laborious or like oh my god I'm away for like six weeks again but um doing you know these fun things and exploring like I never would have gone to the desert pretty much and and watch sunset there or I love art so going to the Louvre was also a really cool experience for me um and I think it's super important to just enjoy the time off the court just like it is to enjoy the wins when they come and when they happen and uh I think you know because you know how hard in tennis it is in momentum or whatever and I think when they come you really need to like savor it and cherish the moment because when you know the losses that inevitably come happen it's it's tough to be as positive but um yeah I'm just trying to really savor this one that's beautiful yeah. it's the balance of life and yeah. it's great that you're finding that now great that you're healthy yeah. and uh, getting these results on the court thanks for spending some time with us best of luck the rest of the tournament thank you Emma Raducanu, everybody, as we send it back to Chanda and Coco.